Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our traditional guest, uh, uh, Colonel Andrei Lysenko, the National Security and Defense Council Information Center spokesman. You're welcome. Uh, good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, uh, just before me, the uh, uh, chief of the general staff told you about the latest events, but I have the information from the uh, Zone ATO. Today at 10 o'clock in the morning, as part of the peaceful plan of the president of Ukraine in the ATO zone, the uh, silence regime is announced. The Ukrainian forces uh, are exercising it and are observing the enemy. Now, t uh, minimum two cases of violation of ceasefire are uh, fixed, uh, and as uh, were the violations by terrorists, we continue to monitor the situation, and during the day, the press center of ATO will be informing you about the situation. The general uh, results, uh, uh, the general figures of today will be uh, pu made public uh, at tomorrow's briefing. Yesterday, the situation in ATO zone has not changed a lot. The bo biggest activity of militants was observed at Donetsk and the Baltivsky directions and also near Bakhmutivsky highway. In the north, uh, we see the uh, uh, ceasefire. In Donetsk direction, the terrorists from artillery and mortars uh, several times shelled the positions of Ukrainian military on the territory of the airport near Piskia, Pitna, Krasnogirivska, Taramchuk, and Tomomikhailivka. During the 7th and, 7th and 8th of December, in the battles uh, near Avdiivka, uh, the Ukrainian artillery uh, eliminated five tanks, uh, two of which cannot be restored. Uh, the enemy had also very serious losses, talking about the personnel. In the Balivsky direction, twice uh, the shelling was made from Grad systems uh, at the positions of U Ukrainian military near Alkhovatka. The intensive shelling from artillery and mortars was near Artemova, Mayorska, Shumovo, Ligris, Chernuhina. Near Gorlivka, artillery eliminated two systems uh, of Oregon, two Haubitzas D30, and then the result of one shell hitting the uh, vehicle with ammunition, the enemy lost also a big number of um, artillerists. Uh, uh, of the military who were very well trained and who uh, were shelling. Uh, yesterday, the intensity of shelling near Bakhmutivka Highway was uh, increased. Uh, the terrorists from tanks, artillery, and mortars were shelling the positions of ATO near Trukhrizbinka, Krimsky, Nizhny, and Frunze. Near Donetsky and Tashkivka, the uh, Grad system was uh, applied against Ukrainian military. In the um, south from Lugansk, uh, the positions uh, are shelled near Shastya, Verkhnya, Vilkova, and Stanitsa, Lugansk. At Mariupolsky direction, the militants from the artillery and mortars shelled at the positions of Ukrainians uh, near Chermalik and Vodyane. During the day, uh, the illegal um, the groups uh, um, made 64 shellings against ATO forces. And the result, we lost six Ukrainian servicemen and seven were wounded. Yesterday in Kyiv, there was the meeting of the heads of defense ministries of Ukraine and Canada, during which the declaration on intention to continue the cooperation in order to strengthen the government and the defense and the security forces of Ukraine was signed. The priority directions are training of military police, medical uh, support and transfer of individual protection means. Uh, the Ukrabaron Prom uh, uh, reported about creation of the cluster of armored and special equipment, uh, the full scale program of uh, input replacement of necessary uh, spare parts uh, is uh, has started. Uh, 
uh, in the result of the instructions from the president of Ukraine, the um, non-controlled movement of bandits from the territory of Ukraine, which are occupied by the uh, groups of uh, illegal groups, creates uh, threats for security of all the states in the region. Yesterday, the Babushkinsky uh, District Court of Moscow region declared into international um, search Mikhail Konstantinov, the sniper from the uh, Lugansk People's uh, Republic uh, uh, bands, uh, who is suspected in killing of two servicemen from Moscow uh, region on the 2nd of November this year. Uh, during the last day, in the result of artillery shelling of, by terrorists of uh, Gorlivka, six uh, terrorists were uh, six uh, um, local people were killed and three were uh, wounded. In the result in Gorlevka, there was an action of protest uh, during the last day at the occupied by terrorist ter territories. There were actions of protest in, uh, especially in Amvrosi, um, Katarez, in Akiva, Gorlevka, and also in Svidlovsk of Lugansk region. According to the information that we received from local citizens, in the result of shelling yesterday by the terrorists of the father of many children was killed, the mother lost her hand, and five children received serious wounds. Now the woman and the children are in the hospital. Also, the um, residential quarters near Juvelena were seriously ruined. One of the shells hit the transformator uh, plant. Uh, there are uh, cases of hitting the multi-apartment buildings registered. Besides that, the uh, many objects of transportation and infrastructure of the city are also destroyed. The convoy with humanitarian assistance moved uh, from Kramatorsk to Avdiivka. Despite the uh, ATO, op the anti-terrorist operation on the liberated from militants' territories from uh, August, we renewed uh, more than 5,000 of uh, objects. Uh, 300 houses were restored, uh, and uh, um, also the electricity supply was resumed in 125 settlements. As of today, in Donetsk, Donetsk missed gas, uh, renewed gas supply to more than 39,000 subscribers. About 2,200 subscribers are without gas supply, and these are the subscribers of Petrovsky, Kubyshevsky, and Kyivsky districts. The teams of Donetsk, Obel, and Erga renewed electric city supply in Novomarienka of Telmanivsky district of Donetsk region. The psychologists of the state service on uh, emergency situations of Ukraine, together with the representatives of volunteer organizations, provided psychological assistance to 34,305 children. The social, pedagogical, and psychological work with children that have a very high level of stress and the result of armed conflict in the east of Ukraine is conducted by the people from the Ministry of Science and Education of Ukraine together with the Children Fund of UNICEF. Uh, for the uh, people from psychological service uh, of the educational establishments in Lugansk and uh, Donetsk regions, uh, uh, attended the, the three-day training sessions, uh, which have two models, the uh, skills of crisis consulting and development of psychosocial uh, sustainability to stress uh, among children. According to the operation, as of 8 of December, 25 employment centers of Donetsk region and 20 employment centers of Lugansk region can uh, uh, start payments of material support uh, uh, for uh, unemployment, international support. The head of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Czech Republic uh, stated that Czech Republic uh, has no differences with the position uh, as to the positions of other countries of EU and NATO as to Ukraine, because Czech Republic signed uh, together with uh, all others the statements of NATO and the US to Ukraine. 
Uh, the state, uh, speaker of the State Department of U.S., Jane Psaki, stated that the meeting of contact group on settlement of the situation in Donbass and Belarus capital is a chance for Moscow and pro-Russian separatists to confirm the agreements which were reached in Minsk in September this year. She stated that it is not about new agreements, it is about execution of the achieved agreements in Minsk on ceasefire in September, which Russia and supported by Russia separatists have not uh, observed. Uh, the official representative of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of France, uh, Romain Nadal, stated that France supports an international in negotiation format on peaceful settlement of conflict in Ukraine. He stated that position of France is consistent as our partners in the European Union as well as all the international community, we do not recognize the illegal annexation of Crimea, and we will require the um, uh, observing territorial integrity of Ukraine. Japan enlarged the uh, list of the persons and organizations in the east of Ukraine against which there will be sanctions applied. To the new sanction uh, uh, list, they added 26 persons and 14 organizations related to organizing illegal ag uh, elections on the 2nd of November. Against them, the sanctions approved by Japan on the 5th of um, September will be applied. Japan will continue to uh, uh, try to reach peaceful and diplomatic settlement of the situation in Ukraine based on the coordination of the efforts of G7 and international communities, he stated. On the 24th of September, Japan expanded the sanctions against Russian Federation and introduced the financial measures against five Russian banks and also more strict, stricter uh, restrictions to export uh, of uh, uh, equipment. And now, and there are 684 persons uh, uh, who are um, captured, who are in um, captivity with the terrorists, uh, including 181 military. As for the radio station, could you explain in more detail with whom you have uh, reached uh, the agreement about uh, the uh, ceasefire or the inactivity situation and uh, 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 we have several uh, sources stating that there are various um, authorities so to say these are Cossacks these are uh, LR, uh, LNR DNR authorities from 10 a.m. Ukrainian servicemen who have been participating in the anti-terrorist or, uh, operation has seized uh, artillery fire and all types of fire, including small arms. Mm. But since that moment, we have registered at least two shelling uh, from the side of uh, terrorists. Ukraine is a party who initiated the situation of inactivity and real ceasefire complies with all the agreements. And uh, um, th this intention of the Ukrainian side was uh, announced to all the leaders of groups acting in this territory, including Cossacks. Uh, and uh, when, when the regime, for how long this regime will last? Till tomorrow, 10 a.m.? Um, uh, this day uh, has started at 10 a.m. and will last for 24 hours, that is, till um, 10 a.m. tomorrow. During this time, we will uh, make our uh, conclusion, we will make our observations, and we also expect that monitors from the um, OSC will monitor situation, will analyze the situation, and uh, produce their opinion. We hope that this will put uh, the beginning, this will kick up a real implementation of Minsk agreements, and we expect and hope very much that uh, um, terrorists will uh, comply with these agreements too, and 
We hope that they will uh, um, suppress those who, on their side, who will try to um, start shelling. Uh, do you have uh, any information about the next uh, meeting to be held in Minsk? We do not have uh, additional information as of this moment. Uh, those uh, two cases of uh, uh, violating the uh, ceasefire in the Balseva, um, who has uh, violated this agreement and whether our servicemen responded somehow to that uh, fire because to that challenge because uh, they had to protect themselves, obviously. I am not ready to provide information in more details because the information came just before beginning of this briefing, and we do not have any city, any um, more detailed information. The only thing that we know that there were no killed people in result of this shelling. Whether it is expected to have an exchange of hostages today or tomorrow in recent time. Uh, I cannot tell you when this uh, will happen ex exactly, and I won't uh, tell you in advance. I will report you about the fact which, which will be happened fact. Thank you very much.